the return of the Oprah Din, or the return of the Curse Crew, so I don't butcher the pronunciation of that ship for the rest of the video, as I'm not sure about it. Yes, that was two puns. Don't worry, I got more. Is an interesting game that I really wasn't sure I was going to like, let alone even finish. The black and white setting, the voice acting showing on screen when they talk instead of in a cutscene, had me wishing I was given something else to review. That is, until the game actually started. The return of the Oprah Din has you finding dead bodies to see how all the crew members died on the ship, which has a mystical element to it, once you get far enough in the story. There was even a mermaid, and I really don't know what water problem was. Sorry, I just got a couple more puns. At first, the captain murders some crew members, but once you get to the second chapter, the Kraken shows up, and it's uphill from there. I don't want to give much away, as this is basically a giant murder mystery game. You are an insurance inspector tasked with figuring out what really happened on the ship, but you're also given a book which has all the available records of the ship and a compass that lets you go back to the moment of the death of the person's body you find. You watch someone die and then use the clues in the book and other memories to figure out who exactly everyone is and how they died. There are 150-ish members of this crew that need solved and thankfully after you successfully solve three murders, the game throws you a bone and lets you know you got them right. Which leads directly into... Yes, it's another walking simulator. There's nothing really here to talk about except for the fact there's almost absolutely no hand-holding in any way, shape, or form. I spent most of my time at the end of the game flipping through the book, figuring out who everyone was, and revisiting memories, and then I did this a couple hundred times. It's got a nice beat, don't judge me. Often I had myself saying I haven't got a crew who this guy is. Like clue, but it's crew because we're on a ship. <laughs> Sorry. I spend probably more time solving these murders than I did figuring out the fate of the crew as a whole, and it was awesome. There are so many subtle clues and so much investigating that needs done and I absolutely loved it. Yes, you can look up the answers from the achievement sites, but I wouldn't suggest it as it ruins the game. Figuring out what happened to every single person, and if anyone lived, some did winky face, it is the absolute best part of this game, and honestly why it has become one of the best games I've played all year. It did have one downfall though. So the rest of the game is good, but the sound is bad. However, it is what it needs to be. That may sound cryptic, but you have to remember that you're only traveling to the exact moment when someone died. There is no movie or any sounds. It's basically an interactive picture. Yeah, it's bad, but it literally can't be much better besides the voice acting, but there's not that much of that. Last boat, not least is... The Return of the Oprah, The Curse Crew, is a phenomenal game that needs to be played by anyone who loves logic puzzles, detective novels, spy movies, etc. This game may be black and white, but the rest of the story isn't, and once you figure it all out, you will feel accomplished. I'm giving this game a 9 out of 10, and I suggest everyone gives it a try, as I'm sure it will anchor you down. I'm sorry, that's my last one. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I'm the Charity Gamer. A uh, bonus for you, here's all the puns I didn't get to use in the video if you're still sticking around for those. I was really harboring strong feelings for this game. I wanted to give the Kraken a stern talking to. This game is off the hook. The Captain can go to Hull for all I care. Almost everyone rocked the boat. The developer was fishing for compliments. Some depths took the wind out of my sails. Well, I have more, but this video is getting very long, and I'm just going to stop now. If you're watching on Xbox Resource, which is where this video is also, 
Come check me out. I have weekly videos. I, I, I do some reviews. I also do gameplay. Right now we're doing Hollow Knight. Outer Worlds is coming out this week. Um, if you're on my channel, go check out the Xbox resource. We're about the same subscribership. He posts trailers. He's trying to get to use your content more. That's why he had me come in. And the charity month is in the description, as always. Th this month it is breast cancer awareness, so we are supporting one of the breast cancer uh, charities. It is in the description, and the link is on screen now, as well as you can see their website on screen, but it's not clickable because I don't have uh, annotations yet because I'm not popular. And I'll catch you guys next time.